Are you in the market to upgrade to some newer game improvement irons? But maybe you don't want to pay for a brand new iron set. Well, at Second Swing, we're going to be explaining our top three game improvement irons that are used in average or mint condition. Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. I'm here today joined by Jackie Johnson. She is also a club fitter and also a pretty good ball striker. So we're gonna be testing some different game improvement irons that are used today. So Jackie, thanks so much for joining. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. Yeah, so these are what we would consider our top three game improvement irons that you can get at Second Swing used. So we're talking about clubs that are going back to about 2017. Uh, so we have like the tightest AP1 irons, the 718 AP1, the TaylorMade M2 irons, and the Ping G400 irons. These have been some very, very good game improvement irons that have performed really well in the past. And it's a great way to help offset the cost a little bit because we know buying brand new golf clubs can definitely get fairly expensive. One other great thing at Second Swing is we do have our 30 day play guarantee. So keep in mind, you're not completely tied to these irons if you don't like them. You can always bring them back within that 30 day play guarantee window for store credit to go towards something else. So that's something that we definitely do offer that's just great for our used golf clubs. So Jackie, are you excited to hit these new clubs? Yeah, I, I'm excited to, to hit these models and be able to tell the differences between the three uh, as they're three of our more popular options that people tend to go with uh, in the last couple years. So. Yeah, and keep in mind we're going to be discussing the prices on these irons too. At Second Swing, you do have a scale on how we rate the condition of the clubs. So average is considered 8.0, above average is considered 9.0, and mint is considered 9.5. So pretty much anything that is going to be above average or in mint condition at Second Swing is pretty much out of the wrapper. Jackie, let's do some golf shots. Let's go. Okay, Jackie, we're going to begin with the Ping G400 irons. This particular iron basically is right out of the wrapper. Uh, it's got a graphite golf shaft, so graphite golf shafts are going to be usually a little bit more than steel golf shafts. Right. So let's test the G400. Let's go. That one sounded really nice. Yeah. Okay, so Jackie, you just hit five shots with the Ping G400 iron. For those people that are interested, you can search secondswing.com, search Ping G400 iron set in, a, in our search bar, and then you can take a look and see the condition of the golf clubs, the rating of the golf club, and also the different shaft flex options that you can find. We've got a great supply. So talking on the Ping G400, how did that club feel? Yeah, when I was hitting it really good, um, it felt awesome and even on some of my miss hits I still you know was able to it, they went a little to the right there but like overall I didn't lose a whole lot of distance on the miss hits and it felt felt good felt forgiving uh, felt hot off the face and overall good club yeah they were really hot off the face I know you normally say about 135 total distance is what you would normally play your current seven iron well we're seeing the ball was carrying 139.1 going 150.4 so got some distance gains it was forgiving, you mentioned you left a couple to the right, but those ones you left a couple to the right, they still did carry further than what you're hitting with your current yeah. gamer. So definitely nice and forgiving, definitely hot off the face, and definitely not super loft jacked either, because the loft on them is around about 30 degrees. Yeah, and the other thing I noticed too is there's a little bit of offset, but it's not like crazy, so I like the look of it as well. Yeah, Ping G Iron Line in general, Ping G, Ping G400, G410, and the new G425 are awesome. Very, very good irons. Great seller for us for a second swing. So next up is the TaylorMade M2 iron set. This is kind of unique because TaylorMade came out with a newer M2 iron in 2019. So this is the 2019 version. There's also a 2016 M2 iron set that you can definitely save money on if you can find yourself a used set. So once again, game improvement, very, very forgiving. Let's see how it performs. All right. That was hit well. Okay. 
Okay, so the TaylorMade M2, for those TaylorMade golf fans out there, this is another great option, as I mentioned, the 2019 or even the 2016 is a good option to find used. Keep in mind, you can search for these in our stores and also online by searching for TaylorMade 2 irons. Um, so first off, I noticed you had a little bit of a pull there with one of the shots, but otherwise you'll notice that the other four shots are pretty close together. Yeah, I mean, um a little bit of a difference just in feel like I right going from the G 400 to this it was just it felt lighter so a little bit of an adjustment uh, had to make there but they felt very similar and I, I think that just the ball coming off the face was uh, like when I was hitting them both solid they were relatively the same so definitely felt good um, but yeah even the pull off to the left uh, yeah, you know, didn't feel terrible, just I knew it, I pulled it. Yeah, you said relatively the same. The smash factor number was the same, so 136, 136. You were swinging the M2 just a little bit faster, about one mile an hour faster. So that's why you're getting a little bit faster ball speed, but the efficiency, so that's ball speed divided by club speed, was the same. So pretty pretty similar kind of overall. It's kind of interesting that this M2 was just spinning just a little, little bit more compared to the G400, but you'll notice pretty similar carry and, and total distance numbers there as well. Just flew just a tad higher than G400, but do like that nice tight dispersion there with the Ping G400. Yeah. And finally, the uh, Titleist 718 AP1 iron set. AP1s are usually priced just a little bit less than the other two, and they have been very, very popular at second swing. They fly out the door, actually. We've had so many people looking for them because they are very good value budgeted irons, but very, very forgiving and perform extremely well. So let's test the 718 AP1. All right. Okay, Titleist 718 AP1. Very, very efficient, I noticed. Yeah, um, I definitely felt a little bit more comfortable with this one just because I currently play the AP2s, so the look of it is definitely a confidence uh, boost when hitting it. But yeah, definitely, even on my miss hits, I was still hitting it straight, so that was good to see. Yeah, what I kind of noticed is you weren't quite swinging this club as fast, but you were getting the highest ball speed. So I mentioned efficiency, so you actually had the highest smash factor with that particular club. And you can also notice over here on the, on the right side here, you had four shots there that were kind of carrying the same distance every single time. You had one you didn't quite catch perfectly there, but the nice thing is that one you didn't catch perfect, it still flew nice and straight, which is definitely kind of important. So I always like to look at the east to west dispersion. When I see the, these ones right across the board where they're you know, going the same carry distance every single time, it's really kind of important to note there too. And it was carrying a little bit further than the other two. So I mentioned this has been a, a great performer for those players that try to save a little bit of money. Um, the 718 AP1s are exceptionally good value clubs. So just touching on the numbers just a little bit more here, I just wanted to touch on the height and the landing angle with these irons, which is very important because we know the lofts are a little bit stronger with them, but they're not super, super jacked. The G400, for example, has around about 30 degrees of loft on it, but it still flew nice and far, which is kind of important. The M2 is going to be just a little bit stronger in loft. We'll notice it a little bit stronger in loft, but the height, you know, still flew nice and nice and high in the air. It actually flew the highest in the air, which is important. So it gave us a little bit steeper landing angle. And then the tightest 718 AP1 all round was very, 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 very good. Nice full speed numbers with regards to your club speed. Um, nice height. Nice landing angle. Speaking of that landing angle, with your club speed being around about 74 miles an hour, if we can get that over 40 degrees, that is exceptionally good for a game of improvement iron. So no problems there for guys to stop in the ball in the green. You'll notice the ball was stopping within about 10 yards, which is really good. So these are all very, very exceptionally good game of improvement irons for used. So for clubs that are maybe three to four years old now, um, but very, very good. Awesome at second swing, the fact that we have the 30-day play guarantee as well. So at second swing, keep in mind the 30-day play guarantee. If you buy the clubs, you have 30 days to try them out on the golf course. If you don't love them, you can always bring them up back and exchange them, and then you would have store credit to go towards something else there too. 
And then with these being our top three value budgeted irons, they're gonna save you a little bit of money there too. So buy these clubs either at Second Swing online at secondswing.com or come into our store and get, come get fit for your new used value iron sets. <laughs>